Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Two in the Cooler. Here we go. Thank you guys for listening, following, subscribing, all that jazz right up top. It's that time of the month, ladies and gentlemen. Another WWE SmackDown watch party tomorrow, Friday, January 14th at 8 p.m. We are going to be live with Ben and Jake from Scheming and Dreaming on snackspot underscore se on twitch the link for that is going to be in our instagram bio we'll toss in the episode description as well don't miss out these wrestling live things are it's one of the funnest things we do it's if you've never watched wwe before it's as insane as you think it is it's crazy it's hilarious it's just a good time and the belt is on the line as well. Whoever makes the funniest joke during the stream gets to hold on to the belt for the month. So don't miss that. Tomorrow, Friday, January 14th at 8 p.m., we are going live to watch WWE SmackDown on Twitch. The handle on Twitch there is snackspot underscore S-E, the word snack, the word spot, underscore, the letter S, the letter E. Make sure you check it out. And... While you're in the mood for checking things out, how about getting yourself some merch, okay? Something that's going to make you look good, make you feel good. You can get that uh, at snackspot.se slash creator slash teespring.com. At that website, you can find merch not just for this show, but also for Scheming and Dreaming, the other podcast that we produce here. We've got hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves. The bucket hats are new. We've got, um, what do you call them, pint glasses now with the logos on them, mugs, whatever you're looking for, water bottles that are actually really sick, all available at snackspot.se slash creator slash teespring.com. The link for that is going to be in this episode description and in our Instagram bio. This is not that cheap merchandise you get from everybody else, folks. This is target quality material, okay? I'm talking tri-blend fabrics, folks. It's like nothing you've gotten from any other show, so be sure to check that out and support the show at snackspot.se slash creator slash teespring.com. If you're out there listening and you are living in any place like Buffalo, you know that it is getting cold as fuck outside. Unbelievably cold. You're not going to want to leave the house, okay? All you want to do is curl up, drink some hot chocolate or something, under a blanket, watch a movie, okay? what do You, you don't want to leave your house for something like groceries. What? The best part is you don't have to. You can just use Instacart. With Instacart, you'll get some of your favorite products from some of your favorite local stores delivered right to your front door in as little as one hour, okay? Avoid going to the grocery store. It's terrible, okay? Especially now when it is getting colder, everybody's wearing those puffy jackets. Forget about all of that. Make life easier on yourself and start using Instacart today. And the best part is, right now, two in the cooler listeners get free delivery on their first order of $10 or more. All you got to do is spend 10 bucks, and Instacart will deliver whatever you're looking for right to your front door in as little as one hour. All you have to do, hit the link in the show description and get yourself that deal. Start using Instacart today, okay? Why wouldn't you? And if you're interested in advertising on this show or our twin show, Scheming and Dreaming, email snackspotsports at gmail.com for details on how, on how you can start reaching hundreds of listeners in the Buffalo area and beyond. Podcast advertising has a lot of benefits. You know who has already realized that? Big companies like State Farm and Tropicana have already started diving into podcast advertising. You know what? It's time for local businesses to get in on the action. So if you're interested, again, email snackspotsports at gmail.com. Okay, we're going. Guys, thanks for coming on. Uh, we appreciate it, like I was just saying. Uh, look, I feel like we're celebrating. Matthew and I are back in the studio. You got the new EP out, Jack. Yes, things are going good, man. Okay, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be talking with you guys and everything. Uh Let's get it going. You know, I was thinking about like how to start this. I'll I'll start off with this. One thing that I appreciate a lot about both of you guys listening to you is you honestly seem like two pretty confident dudes. Does that come naturally? Have you always been like that? You seem very sure of yourselves. Um Yeah, I say so. I say so. I feel like um really I don't really care like what the outcome is so like that's probably what it is 
Um, actually, I feel like I ain't really as confident as I need to be, to be honest. But it probably seemed like that because I don't really care what the outcome is. I just rock out how I do, you know. I feel like that's what true confidence is, though. Yeah. Like, there's confidence isn't, like, um, being, like, super loud or anything so much as it is just being sure with yourself and what you're doing. Right. And I think you definitely embody that. Um, what about you, Jack? Confidence was something that I had to actually grow into. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially, like, dealing, like, with critics and shit like that coming up, you know, not just music, but, like, everyday life type shit. But that was something I just had to grow into. Like, over time, you just tend not to care, really. Yeah, tune it out, do what you yeah. like, and people that like it will find it kind of thing. That's exactly how yeah. I feel. Like, I don't, I ain't really trying to force nobody into, you know, what I got going on. It's just, like, this me, so, yeah, you know. enjoy it. Something I kind of noticed with the latest stuff you guys been doing is that you're getting into kind of a personal territory, like both of you, with your songs. Um, is that something that you two talked about with each other at all? No, I, I think that's just kind of like the wave right now. Like It's kind of like about trying to um, get people to feel you, you know, getting deep into what's going on in your real life. So that's probably kind of yeah. what it is. People don't always want to see like the lit shit. They want to know like who you is, yeah, as a person and shit like that. You know, sometimes but like social media just have you looking all happy and shit like that. All the bullshit that just be going on all the time. You might just be sad, down, depressed, or whatever state of mind you in. You know what I'm saying people want to know like what you going through on a day to day basics. How do it feel to be like Young Fetty? How do it? I mean, like they want to tune in and stuff like that. So yeah. I guess that's just what it is. Yeah, I like that. And that's something that Andrew and I have talked about before with a lot of different people and different kind of content games, whether it be music, you know, um, videos, podcasting, stuff like that, um, is that social media gives people an opportunity to see this different side of people that they never would. And it doesn't have to be, like you said, kind of like, oh, happy, party, and all that stuff. People are able to find things that they like based off of actually – getting to know the person that's on the other side of the screen or that they hear in their headphones, right? Yeah. So I think that's a, a really good thing to kind of already be keyed in on and be able to do that. And, I mean, Andrew, I know he does a lot of research that goes into this stuff, and that's why he is able to ask a lot of good questions. Um, me, I really only know you guys from what I see on Instagram and YouTube and stuff like that, right? That's kind of the extent of my knowledge. So that's why I like to be able to get in here and to listen to what you guys have to say about the music that you guys are making. It's right. crazy. You see how everything relate, how you just talking about confidence and stuff like that. That's like, that's like a confident on a whole nother level that people like really don't realize about certain situations. It's like that takes confidence to actually like bring that side out of you out into the public. You know what I'm saying? Once it's on social media on it, out there into the world, that shit there forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no doing that shit back. So whatever you put out there, that's that. Yeah. And especially like with that being said, and you brought it up, like, the, uh, you know, like people's mental health, that's a big thing that goes on right now. And when you For kind sure. of open up that side to yourself, you know, about what you have going on behind closed doors, yeah. it makes it, you know, it's difficult to do because you do at first worry about what people are going to say about it. But then you realize that there's so many people out there that kind of have the same thought process about things and it helps them then like relate to, you know, the music and the content that you guys are putting exactly. out. Exactly. I also feel like, in situations like that when you're aware of it, uh, problems and shit like that and you don't speak on it you just as bad as those who are just not showing any awareness to the situation you know what I'm saying especially if you do have knowledge on certain situations like that why not speak on it you know what I'm saying you don't know what lives you can say you don't know who look up to you who going through whatever you know what I'm saying let these people know they're not alone yeah big time I think that's the like across all of media that's just kind of the way it is right now like the days of people, the days of like, uh, you know, people looking up to like a Brad Pitt or something, right? As some like untouchable, like glamorous figure. I don't think that's what people really want anymore. They want, um, they want to know the artists that they're fans of, and they want to feel right. connected to them on a more personal level. Yeah. You know, sometimes they want to feel like they're, you know, could be friends with them or whatever yeah. but sometimes they just want to know that they go through the same stuff that everybody does it's yeah. crazy because you just said that because like one of my fans today like it'd be like random people like texting me and stuff like but 
this little kid just text me, not text me, but like DM me and stuff like that. Hey, like, yo, what's up? Uh, uh. He wasn't really like asked for anything or like trying to like anything about music. He was just like talking. I'm like, he like, what you doing? I'm like, chilling. I'm like, what you doing? He like in school in class right now, about to go to my other class. You know, we just shopping and stuff like that. I mean, it's just like cool. Yeah, it's awesome when like your you know fans get to know you like that and and kind of feel comfortable and i mean it's not that you want everybody that you know follows you or whatever mm-hmm. listens to your music reaching out to you but it is nice to have that interaction sometime and kind of on that point um to what kind of i guess this is kind of a pretty generic question but what kind of got both of you guys into music were you guys really young when you when you started to kind of find your way and was it always the same genre of music or was it, you know, the older you got, the more you kind of started listening to it and think I could do this? Or was it just something that you picked up for, for shits and giggles and then realized, oh, shit, we're actually not bad at this? Uh, for me, I, I, it wasn't, I wasn't really on it for real. You know, I was, I was just playing around. And um, my pops had, he had wanted to start his own record label in, in the town. So he was asking me, like, you know, who, who do I go to 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 be my my first artist and um and me and Jack was already locked in kind of so I'm like you know I p- told him about him and then after that I had I had did like a little freestyle or, you know some shit like that and he heard my pops end up hearing it and he kind of wanted me to take it serious I, I I never was gonna really take it serious for real you know then, wow but you know, he got me on it so that's really how I got in yeah, seriously. Well, shit, with me, it's just like I always grew around the household. The music always had a feel and a passion for music. You know what I'm saying? Like, music was always special to me, even when I wasn't making music. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, it was just like a feeling. It, it just made me feel like, I feel like this world without music would not be what it is at all. Like, I feel like everybody would be depressed. Yeah, you're probably so, right. I mean, music is an outlet for a lot of people. And to answer your question, or not to cut you off. No, you're good. I yeah. I was. Uh, I really got into music. Really like, uh, you know, over time and shit. Just like you know, with my big brothers and shit like that. Over time, I just actually just took it serious for. That's really it. Yeah, I heard you tell the story about like rapping in front of your brother and his friends oh, yeah. when you were like 11. Mm, yeah. <laughs> See that, to me. That's got to be a defining moment, right? Like, that's got to be a big yeah. confidence moment. Nah, it definitely was. It was just like, okay, especially, like, when they're all older than you and stuff like that. So, now nah, you worried about what they got to say. If it's good, or should you cuss, or, you know, just mad shit around. I mean, so it was that, that just, like, a moment that I had to be confident in, even though there was not, like, no Jay-Z or anything. Yeah. Right, you still got to... Yeah, it's a tough. That's a tough thing to do, but that's yeah. again, that's that's what you guys do. I feel like if it wasn't for that moment, I probably would not start rapping. Yeah, but if I. It, if it wasn't for that specific time, that time, and that moment, that exact time, and for them to exactly be thinking about yo, this freestyle and shit like that, and it wasn't for that moment, I probably wouldn't rap because that's really when I thought about really rapping after that. It's crazy when both of you can kind of like pin down. A defining moment like that some people just kind of like ease into it over time but what it takes what it can take sometimes is just for somebody to see you and right. give you a little bit of encouragement you know what i mean mm-hmm. and now it kind of sounds like with you guys interacting with fans and stuff you're giving a little bit of that back right the circle the circle completes itself you know what i mean yeah. but that's the way to do it that's which kind of I mean, one of the things I was kind of interested in talking to you guys about was, like, the competition of, like, the business and what you guys think about that, the way everything stands today. Because the way that I have felt about it just looking at it now is, like, with the internet, social media, fucking YouTube, everything, it feels to me like there's kind of room for everybody. You know, there's guys on YouTube that have millions of like super dedicated followers um but we don't know who the fuck they are but to some people this is like this is my favorite guy ever he's putting out the content that i love the most but the one place where it seems to me that competition is still very much alive is in the music business you think that's just part of the culture or why do you think that is if you agree yeah I, 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 it's probably because of the culture like it just Especially, especially now, it's like 
it really ain't the way I see it. It's like it really ain't too many, too much friendly friendship, you no know, type things. It's really it's a business. It's like it's me versus you. You know, it's me versus all y'all. Like that's how I look at it. Like I ain't really trying to be trying to get in a rap game and be like friends and you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to do what I do and stay on my path and be the best that you know best I could be. But it's a competition. Like I'm trying to be the best. You know I ain't gonna lie, me personally. I really don't give a fuck. I just do what I just do. And it's like, shit, I'm doing it for me at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I, f- I kind of felt like if I look at shit as a competition, I wouldn't be able to do what I do to the to my fullest potential only because I'm trying too hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's really interesting to me because you guys both kind of from, you know, the conversation of, how you kind of started getting into music, started rapping and stuff like that, and then this a- aspect of it, you guys kind of work as like yin and yang. Am I saying that right? Yeah. 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 And and but it kind of works well, right? And I feel like you know it has that ability to to help you guys bring out you know the best in yeah. each other when it comes to your music, um, because there you know arguments can be made for why both sides are the right way to do it, right? Like. You know, there's a lot of people out there that believe like being hyper competitive is the best way to become great at something, right? Yeah, we were talking a little bit about MJ crazy. earlier, right? Like yeah. that's how he was. The reason he was the best is because of how bad he wanted to compete. Yeah, that's crazy. how I feel. Like, yeah, I, I, I gotta get. I don't know. I just need that that juice that come out of it. Like, yeah, and it, and probably like I ain't gonna really be like I ain't trying to be a competition. Like you know, I ain't a loud competitor. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. It's just in in my heart. Like, yeah. That's how I feel. Which and that's kind of the best way to do it too, if you have that competitive mentality. And on the other side, right? Like having that, you know what? Like I don't really give a fuck. I'm just out here doing my thing. Yeah. Like that shit works too, right? Because yeah. that's you know, as much as you say it's not really competitive, it is in the sense where that lets you just put your head down. You're not looking at what other people are doing. You're only worried about your own shit. But yeah. that's I feel like they like kind of like doing the same thing because you can't. I feel like you can't compete if you ain't doing your own thing. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying you that's, gotta, yeah, that's you for gotta sure. be on your. I'm just doing me and forget what everybody else thinking. But at the same time, it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell me you don't want to be the best or you don't want to be, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's just like doing your own thing. That shit like helps you work at your own pace. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, like that. that's true. Yeah, well, it's the tunnel vision aspect of it, right? Like you're not worried about what other people are doing. Yeah. I do think that the the best way to be successful, though, is like don't give a fuck. Like you just mm-hmm. have to do your thing. Um I had another point that I thought was going to be really good. You now I'm losing it. it. I'm losing it a little bit, but it's coming back to me as I as, <laughs> as I'm stalling here. Um, but the um, yeah, the the competitive nature. You know, why do something if you're not trying to be the best, right? right. Like, <laughs> you know, it kind of sometimes I'll see guys to answer that for me personally. Yeah. Though, only reason why I feel like that is because of, like is for me. You know, growing as an artist and shit like that, over time, like, don't get me wrong, I always wanted to be the best, but, like, as I grow older and shit and deal with everyday life type shit, it's like, I really don't care about being the best as long as I get my message out to those who are suffering from, you know, depression. That's really my main, you know, motion right now for what I'm really shooting for right now. It's not, I, I don't, I mean, like, even if I make underground music, I'm not saying that's what I'm shooting for. You know what I'm saying? As long as I'm helping people and shit like that, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I really don't care at this point no more. Like, it's right. I just want to help people. Yeah. Now. As long as the people who need to hear it, hear yeah. it. Which is a great... That's a beautiful yeah, thing, Yeah, that's a great, actually. great kind of reason to be doing what you're doing, and it kind of goes back to what you were saying earlier. It ties in, right? Like, you know, a lot of people couldn't live without music. Like, that's their outlet, right? Yeah. And so... That's kind of those are the people that so are gonna healing. listen to your music and, and real and and see it for you know what it is you know what I'm saying those are the people you want listening. Hell yeah, shit is just crazy. You know what I'm saying like you never know like who who paying attention to you like you know what I'm saying like just because they might not show like signs and this and that and they're good at hiding what's going on and shit like that it might be your homie that might be going through shit sitting right next to you, but the whole time you don't even understand, but he might keep you pushing, keep going, because, like, you helping him get through what he going through the whole time. You not even knowing you healing your dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, I don't know. I really know how to really explain that. No, I, I know exactly. Yeah, you're I know, saying it Yeah, perfectly. I was going to say, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I'm saying. Yeah. 
I, uh, yeah, man, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to relate to this, Jack, but mm. something I really wanted to ask you because, you know, I know that you've been going through depression and stuff, and, and that's a big thing for you. When you were at, again, you don't have to answer this, but, like, when you were kind of at your lowest part point, was there ever a part of you that was a little bit worried about getting better for fear that maybe it would change who you are or that you wouldn't be able to do what you do? I think it's the fear that, that makes me do what I do, if that makes any sense. It does make, make sense. sense. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. That's a hard thing to do, though, man. A lot of people... You know what I'm saying? It's fuck. the fear that keeps me pushing. It's yeah. the fear. It's like almost like... You're hanging on a cliff and it's like lava right under you. Even though you might not be a, the strongest man in the world, but sometimes you don't know how strong you is until being strong is your only option. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know I, you can't, you ain't trying to fall a victim to, you know what I mean, certain shit. So it's like, I got to. Yeah. Yeah. That's powerful stuff, man. I think a lot of people need to hear that. For sure. So. As far and I'm sure Andy's got some of this stuff written down too, but like as far as music, you know, um, every time we have anybody in a mu- like music related in here, we gotta ask like, you know, between what's out now and what's coming, like, you know, what are what are you guys looking to do? Like, put out more music, like get like start playing shows, like what what in your mind is kind of in this year to come? Right, it's January. We got a full year ahead of us. Like, uh, I'm 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 trying to become a, a more uh, a more fluent recorder. Um, I want to be one of those dudes who just drop, like, just drop, drop, drop. Like, yeah, you just, I hear you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, I mean, I could do that, but it's not at um, a comfortable speed. It's, it's not comfortable yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it to where it's fluent, and I feel like, you know, it's all about the confidence, trying to be right. as confident with it as I can. But also, I mean, with you trying to be the best and stuff, like, obviously you guys have high standards for yourselves. Otherwise, you would not be doing this and you wouldn't be where you are now. Right. It's It can be tough to push out that much material when it's, you know, when you guys have the ears that you have, like, okay, maybe, like, you can always find something, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's benefits to that too, right? Right. For sure. Like... You can tell sometimes people put out a song and it's like you just wanted to put it out. To put it out, like right. even though it wasn't ready, yeah, you were just trying to do that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And to kind of go back to just talking about being the best, like maybe when somebody puts out a song like that, when they just kind of toss it out there, I feel like a lot of those guys have this mentality of like, you know, I'll just put it out and whatever happens, happens. Mm-hmm. And those are the people that actually win. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Do you think so? Hell yeah. Because you're yeah. not giving a fuck. No, yeah. but that's nah, not exactly, that's not exactly that, what I'm talking about. The only though. reason I say that, though, is yeah. because, like, you just putting it out. Like, sometimes, as, a, as an artist and shit like that, you what, what music that you think may not be your best song really be the shit that people actually like. So if you just throwing shit out there... Just, That's for sure. You know what I mean, like, yeah, you're giving them all size and angles. Yeah, like, how can you lose in a situation like that? I think it's. I think it can go both ways because yeah, I, I do agree. Saying. I do agree. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because what I'm saying is, like, the 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 guys in that situation, they're obviously still, um, like, focused on a goal. You know what I mean? Even mm-hmm. if they're just kind of tossing out. What I'm talking about is, there's some people. Who are a little more casual with it, mm-hmm. okay. and like if you're not gonna really take it seriously, oh, on that, yeah, that's I, what yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm the, saying. The, the, oh, the yeah. way I was thinking of it was like you obviously have a standard, right, in in your mind. So yeah. you you record something, you listen like to know it. What's your best work? Yeah. Like, okay. Well, I, if you listen to it and you're like, like this this isn't this could be better, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. You're, yeah. But you might listen to it and think like. Yeah, you, you might not always love it yourself, but you know if it's good work or not, right? Mm-hmm. Like right. you know if. If you're listening to it, and that's you know the kind of h- highest quality you could have done that at, yeah. so that's what I think it means. Like right, like it it, it still has to be up to your standard, mm-hmm. right? The the way you guys go about it, you both make very good points. I think I might be le- leaning a little more towards the Fet way though, because like it's different because no, you no, got no, a message. No biggie, no biggie. But I feel like if you are going out. Like, 
if you're not trying to take over the world, what are you doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Does that resonate at all? Like, mm-hmm. not trying to just be out here casually, like trying yeah. to really do something, like trying to really make some moves. Well, it, it's a again, and it goes both ways, right? Like uh-huh. trying to trying to be the best, or because you're what not it? going out there and trying to be casual, right? You're trying to get your message out to as many people as okay. you can get to listen. To now it. check this out. Mm-hmm. This was gonna trip you out, right? <laughs> He stated that uh, if you're not trying to take over the world, then what are you doing? Correct. That's a direct quote. All right. Now, the world do deal with pres- per, uh, depression. The whole world. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody is not happy, but everybody do get sad and everybody do get depressed. So who's really taking over the world? That's what I mean. You can look at it both ways. Yeah, maybe it's all the same thing. <laughs> maybe that's what we're getting down to. <laughs> but you're absolutely right, man. You know, uh, yeah, it's a tough thing. Yeah. Is it though right or wrong? I don't even believe in right or wrong. There's yeah. no right way of doing anything. Yeah, that shit true. is just what it is. Mm-hmm. You do it the way you're gonna do it. You do it the way you like doing it, right? It goes yeah. back to what we were saying about right. you know, not really caring what other people think about it. Yeah, I just right. really like depends on you as a person. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like the the way of people posting on social media about being happy stuff, that's got to fall off, though, like, at some point. Maybe not that soon, but, like... Well, ten, being happy? What do you mean? I mean, like, when, like, fake happy, like what you were talking about earlier, when people just kind of, like, toss that stuff on social media instead of being honest. Okay. Yeah, I see. The honesty's gonna break through at some point. Right. Like, it has to, I think. Right. I feel like... The 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 kids that are growing up now, like that's what they want. Like they want honesty. They don't like because they know. Right. They see everything on their fucking phones. Like they know that the world is not well, all fucking yeah. private jets and stuff. It's like you know pe- what I mean? Right. Yeah. Like people are getting smarter. I know what you mean, and and I say this to people all the time. Like that's the you know, and it kind of goes back to exactly what you're trying to get across, right? It's not. W- you don't need to go and, you know, make people that you don't even know on the internet think that you're happy. Like, exactly. deal with your shit. You know what I mean? Like, so become knows. happy. I Dude. also believe in, like, if you live for yourself, you live in vain. But if you live for for others, you'll live again. You know what I'm saying? Like, Can you elaborate on that? Like, for example, right? Like, if you just doing what you just want to do, even though there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? It go both ways also. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just doing you and shit like that, right, you would never know, like, what you could do. You would never know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, it's almost like living in vain, like, you living through other people at the same time as you are living through yourself. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like you living other lives and shit like that. You living for other people. You, 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 you mold these people into what, I mean, you you can also mold society into like what you want it to be yeah. in a way. You or, see what yeah, I'm what you think it is. Yes. Yeah. So it's like honestly, I feel like all of this shit is a gimmick. Like this whole world, like everything about this world, is like only the real survive. It's like like you were talking about with social media and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like if you buy like some generic gym shoes and you buy like some real gym shoes, what's gonna last longer after you play ball in it for some years? You see what I'm saying? The yeah. real always lasts longer. Mm-hmm. So it's just like I really don't. I really don't even know how to answer some of these questions. It's like some shit really just is. No, I know. Is. Okay. Yeah. Well, the, the, that just, was actually the best way to do it. it like out. the the, mat- you know? the shoe the shoe metaphor is a, is yeah, the perfect way to do it. Yeah. yeah, that's really it. I think the I think a difference can be who the people are that you are living for, living through, because you can either. Like live vicariously through people that you see on your phone and try to hold yourself to that standard, or you can live for your family. You can live for the people close to you. If you're already trying to do something that everybody else is doing, what's the point of you doing it? It's not original. It's just like another copy of this and that. But now you could also live for yourself and do what you're doing, but you also being real and true to yourself and true to the standards of life and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing that, it's like you bring a more authentic and real pure-hearted people into effect and letting people know that you know like nowadays bro it's a, it's a trend to be fake you know what i'm saying like 
it's like it's really like a drought on real individuals type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like everybody's so stuck up in the social media phase and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day though, when you delete social media, you delete Facebook, Instagram and shit, you ask yourself, Are you really happy? What have I really accomplished? Really think about it. That 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 right there is like what a lot of people really need to do and like re examine themselves. Yeah. Shit like that. Yeah, I know neither of you guys are really big on, like, using cho- social media and stuff. And the first time I heard you guys say that, I was like, it was interesting. Because I think that most people in today starting, like, creative pursuits think of social media not only as the most important to- tool, but in some cases the only tool. So I think some folks, when you say, you know, don't really use social media, they might think that that's uh, a detriment to you guys. But that has not been the case with you i mean why do you think that is you can still be so successful without doing all that i mean you definitely need social media sure yeah, in yeah, every we, yeah, we form do. or way like social media is bigger than just it's bigger than re- what you see like yeah. you know what i mean it, it's like social well, it's media a, it's an amazing like tool yeah right like, like you can get Everywhere, you know, we're like, it, like whether it be us or you guys, like we can get, you know, our, you know, video clips, p- information, stuff like that on there like that. And people can see it instantly. And that's how people find us. Right. Yeah. And it's the same thing for you guys. Right. You could post your music, right. Your music videos, stuff like that. Yeah. I can't, I can't, I don't really like to get with it no more. Cause it's like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of BS on social media. It's a lot of, um, you know, pretenders like pretending, you know, yeah. and I, and then certain shit I just can't I can't sit with um like and I don't like how social media like show you like like for instance I just I, a couple months ago I unfollow every famous person that's on my social media like cuz I can't see it cuz it it now it make my head like it kind of almost down you like you know what the hell I'm doing like I ain't mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying so I I had to just you know separate from that and just kind of lock in it, 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 it's time consuming it's it's like you know what I'm saying? I can't lock in. Sometimes, like, with social media, I definitely get what you're saying, though, because, like, you know, like, I ha- it, happened, it haven't happened to me type shit yet, at least yet, only because, like, not saying that you're not in tune with yourself, but, like, I just, like, know for me that, like, but for other people may look at it, like, when you on social media and seeing all this and that, whatever, what everybody else got going on, how they live in their life and shit like that, that do really stop you from really seeing your real life progress. You might be really 10 feet ahead and you won't even see your progress because you so focused on this and that, but yeah. the whole time you winning, you know what I'm saying? It, yeah. It'll like cloud your judgment on yourself and yes. kind of put you in like a depressive state. Social media would do that to you. Yeah, big it time, would. man. It's almost like you stop uh, looking at your life through your own perspective and you kind of start seeing it through everybody else everybody else's yeah. and that'll fuck you up i'm telling you. really definitely would yeah i mean it all comes back to kind of how we started right with like the whole mindset thing of kind of not caring about what other people think about it right. and actually you know over the past you know over the past like five minutes the way that both of you guys talk about it and you used you said twice i think you said you used the word like original and authentic and i think that's something that is obvious as important to you guys mm-hmm. right and you talk about kind of you know both different styles of how you want to get to where you want to get through you know being competitive or keeping your head down they both allow you guys to not get caught up in what other people are doing and it's the same thing with the social media right like you guys aren't busy looking at, oh, this guy's doing this and this and this, and it's working, I got to go out and do that. Yeah. Whereas you guys don't need to see that because you know what you want to do, and you take the opportunity to do that in you know its original state. You don't have to worry about being that kind of copycat that everybody like, else tries to be. I feel like being true to yourself is like the quickest way to really accomplish on your goal. Yeah, like, big time. You know what I'm saying? Like when you just real with yourself, like – well, especially in the music industry, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see shit for what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not blinded by the bullshit. You you really, like, make decisions, like, rapidly and really peep the bullshit, like, instantly, almost mm-hmm. instantly. Like, oh, that's not it, you know what I'm saying? Even though this is what everybody's doing right now, but that's not really it. I know that's not it. 
I know, like, sometimes like, I see I see stuff on social media and stuff like that. Like, I see the nonsense that go on, and I'd be like, do you, like, what's the what's the purpose of it? Like, what's the background of that? Like, like, what is that for? You know what I'm saying? And, so, and most of the, most of the time, the answer that I do get though, it's like there is no answer. It's just like pointless. It, people just do stuff. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like when you being real with yourself and really doing what you think is gonna work instead of what everybody else is doing. Like sometimes trends do get you where you need to be though. You know what I'm saying? But like you really just gotta have your own way of thinking. You know, every just because it worked for somebody else don't mean it's gonna work for you. You know what I'm saying? Some people might set their self back just you know. Moving how everybody else move. Do you think that? Because we, I mean, we've said this already, but I feel like authenticity is going to become the trend. That's what people are going to become attracted to. For sure. Um. So, do you think that? I mean, it is already a trend. Right, but I think it's gonna get. It's. I think it's gonna hopefully at least dominate. And it, and it's and it's gonna get real dangerous pretty soon. What do you mean? Only because of like you know. On, on like the drill scene it's like on on drill era like when it's like with rappers and shit like that you know what I'm saying like everybody feel like they gotta really do I mean obviously if you ain't living like that don't rap it but now it's like now nah, I'm rapping this shit I gotta do that I gotta go kill something now I gotta go do this or now you know what I'm saying like everybody wanna be pool shiesty and shit like that you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, bro. Like, you're really leaving yourself a dead end type shit. Not saying that's the uh, case with Shicey, you know shit. Like, I mean, free Shicey type shit, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, like, he could, he already he probably already had a h- other way of living and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But, like, for the most part, man, this shit gonna get real hectic out here. I ain't gonna lie. But that authentic shit is gonna come into effect, though. And it's already in effect. It's starting right now. I don't know if y'all ever thought about it like that, though. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to tell, right? Like, I've said a bunch of times on the podcast when we've had different, you know, artists and, and people in the music industry on, I am kind of like, I, the way that I listen to music, I'm not like a, I'm not a huge... I'm true fan. Yeah, I'm not a huge... No, music in general. Like, I listen to... I don't listen to a lot of music, right? I know it, mm-hmm. it's a, a great outlet for a lot of people, but I that's it's never really been something that... You know, I like wake up. I don't, you know, wake up in the morning, listen to music, and that like I don't listen to music while I work. I don't. I don't even listen to music while I drive. Really, I listen to podcasts or talk radio stuff like that, just because that's kind of my way of relaxing. Right. It's different for everyone. You know, I like right that now. you said that because like sometimes I really like the fact that sometimes I don't like everything to be about music. I don't like everything around me to be about music. I only like music when I like music at the moment. Like right now. I don't like music. I don't want to go to the studio right now. I want to chill here and talk with you guys. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't mean like I don't really like music. You know what I'm saying? No, it's I know just exactly like, what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, and that kind of goes with a lot of things that you've been saying, too. I mean, it's sometimes it's good to be able to separate your life, right? It doesn't have to be 100% music because sometimes that ends up sucking you in, too. Yeah, too much of anything. Yeah, good. exactly. But back to the, like kind of what I was getting at was that... Um, like authenticity thing that you're talking about it's tough for me to to i i understand it when you say it but it would have been tough for me to know that prior to because outside of songs that you'll hear every once in a while when you're out and that you know like very very popular songs i don't listen to a ton of music um so you know i don't know exactly kind of what's going on in that sense because you know who knows what you know the the most famous you know musicians are talking about who knows if they wrote it if they mean it stuff like that and i think that's kind of what you're getting at is the more people find that authenticity the more they're going to try to kind of walk the walk not just talk the talk you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying you know it's crazy because back then like rappers was like that like really living everything they were saying and stuff like that like even singers like beyonce jay-z when they things they were talking about they was really living like that but you know like over time when generation changes and stuff like that it's like people can't really seem to like know what they want to talk about when they like enter this like you know form of music is what we call like new generation music or whatever whatever y'all may call it you know what i'm saying like you know you always gotta like look back to your history and shit like the blueprint what they talk about, like, you know what I'm saying, like, what people are attracted to listen to. I think that's where it 
really impacts people like not being true to themselves and with the music that they're making because they, it's almost like they come in this like empty, okay I know I want to rap and this and that but how am I going to get these people's attention okay I, okay I see Beyonce got their attention by singing about stuff like this and this and that so why don't I start doing it even though I may not be doing the same shit so I feel like over time people just like you know like non-fiction yeah i know exactly shit like it's like faking the vibe and shit like that but now it's like it's not it's almost like it's not even cool to like fake rap yeah anymore like they want to hear the real shit yeah yeah that's true well i do you think that anybody who puts something disingenuous out there or who is trying to be fake maybe they'll get hot for a second but that's got to catch up to you eventually yeah that's how I feel about then it. Sometimes some people don't care. I ain't gonna lie. Some people don't care. Some people just want to hear good music. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Nah, them niggas die out. Yeah. You know, I can't think of a fake a, a rapper that I don't think really standing on business that's lit still. Um, yeah. Okay, exactly. Eventually, they're just gonna fall off because since they're not like they can't, they're uh, they're actually not living that lifestyle or whatever, they run out of shit to say. Right, you know. Right. Uh, that's why it's like with my when my don't get me wrong, like I can get street and shit like that. I come from the street type shit. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to promote the street though. You see what I'm saying? But then I also do still have to. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, something that I think you've done very well in your music though is referencing that, but then still getting your actual message across Correct. right that yes this is what i've experienced is where i came from it's not the best and let's try and better ourselves and better our depression and all that that i think you do actually an excellent job at that I appreciate you yeah well it's the truth man sure. it is what it is Ooh. what do you say andy I'm getting heavy yeah. i'm loving it though <laughs> i really appreciate you guys talking about all this the what oh, man I don't know how much more we can beat this social media thing, but, like, whew, do you think it's possible to use such a uh, a fake platform to be authentic and honest? Or do you think it's just ingrained in Instagram and Facebook or whatever? And like, Say that again. Do you think, like, you know, uh, all the social media stuff and how fake it is, do you uh-huh. think that's just ingrained in social media, or is there a way to use... The tool of social media, the tool that is so fake in and of itself, to promote authenticity and stuff, or is it just going to get intertwined? Well, the fakeness ain't never going to leave because it's always trendsetters. It's always you know it's it's a it's somebody yeah. you looking up to, somebody that want to be whatever's going on. I agree so with you. So it's going somebody going to come after it with you know something that's not fully what he doing, but it's almost like you know it's going he going to fake try to be like that but he not you know that's it's almost it like we don't want fake but we need fake in order for the real to stand out yeah, yeah. i know exactly what you mean that's how it is yeah i'm saying it's thanks appreciate like to all the fake yeah essentially yeah, yeah. <laughs> and but i it, and i think that people are getting smarter too i, I don't know if i maybe <laughs> maybe i'm just maybe maybe that's not true but i really i mean i really do think like people are starting to realize that it's not all you know these these things that they see online the way these people live their lives aren't all that it's cut out to be you know what i'm saying back in the day all you had to do was put a 30 clip on the camera you gangsta as hell mm-hmm. uh, rocket line sure all types of yeah stuff. but people start to recognize those those tricks and stuff like that right mm-hmm. it's almost like uh you know if you're like a, a a painter and you like study art or whatever then you can start to recognize like counterfeit shit right, 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 right. now everybody's an artist because everybody's so tapped into social media they yeah. see everybody knows man everybody's so media savvy these days mm-hmm. it's hard to get shit by them even it still with happens, the females so. and stuff like that i feel like social media really impact females more than it do the males i ain't gonna lie yeah Only reason yeah we had that conversation it's a weird one day, fucking we? thing when like we all know that it's fake and we all know that it influences people poorly but still sometimes when you look at it you can't help but be affected by it i feel like females take the most pressure though for real only reason because it's already expensive to be a female it's already hard being a female day-to-day life and stuff like that you got to think about it the uh average woman living like average life 
is already expensive. So now you got to think about looking up to these city girls and this and that, and this is what everybody else is doing. This is already hard living your regular life. You know what I'm saying? Like regular female hair be like what? Six, seven hundred to a thousand dollars and stuff just to get their hair done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Then you got to get an outfit and this and that, all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, dudes, all we really just got to do is get some sneaker kicks and fit and a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievably I, easy. I think it cost me like $20 to get my haircut. And too. then it also <laughs> makes it hard on the males, too, though, because, you know what I'm saying? As a male, as an alpha, like, you always got to be provider. So I, I actually have a, a question kind of about that, like, especially with kind of. The message that you're trying to get across so i agree with you do you ever find that you know there is a little more pressure on you maybe to not talk about all the stuff you have going on because you're to not people, talk about it yeah because people kind of look at you and assume you're supposed to be you know a yeah. man you're supposed to be tough you're not supposed to talk about for me sure. honestly i really like i really don't care you know what i'm saying like i don't really care if somebody think i'm not tough or whatever if you feel like I'm not tough, go ahead and give you a try. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you'll be able to tell them the answer. It is so when you first when we first started talking about the I mean that, it's a uh, hard I know what you're saying. Like, yeah. it's hard for a lot of people to come on here and just speak about shit like mm-hmm. that. Uh I don't know. Somebody got to do it, though. No, I, yeah. I, that's why it's it's great that you're doing I mean, that's why I agree with a, kind of the premise behind it and the message with it so much. It's just, you know, that's that's a thing especially for men you know i think that a lot of guys struggle with that because they don't necessarily and it also comes down to an internal lack of confidence right like yeah. you know and that feeds more into a lot of their mel- mental health issues so nowadays you can't buy your girl a bergen bag you were brokey yeah you so. broke this and that now you stressed out you sick you tight you go over it crying because somebody else tapping on your shorty and shit like that because you can't get shorty a bergen that's it. Social media just make life harder. Yeah. For real. So I don't know if that was appropriate for me to be talking about on here, though. No, I just have yeah. no filter. Like, I don't bite my tongue Nor for anything. That's, that's, that's why we wanted to I talk to you say, guys, we, yeah. honestly. Say what sorry. You want. No, don't be sorry. Yeah, not at all. Um, I do think, though, for time's sake, we should do the Who Win of the Week real, real quick. We filled you guys in on that earlier. Um, it's a segment we like to do on here. So this week, uh, we have... Um, I told you, you uh, had fuck. to remember it. Oh, Antonio Brown squaring off against the Joker. Mm, Antonio Brown. Got AB. AB right away. The Joker? Joker the Joker almost we, kills Batman. I know, but we talking about squaring off with no weapons. He's going to grease the Joker. Yeah. Hey. He, oh, you know what, he, though? He's an NFL player. Come on, man. Yeah, but the Joker loves to get... Beat up. beat up yeah kinda, he's got a high pain I mean? tolerance like he does here's here's my initial thought you know and you know ab ab's doing what ab does but he can be a bit of a loose cannon and i think that the joker would get so deep in ab's head like i think if the joker starts chirping at ab ab's gonna like get all get all wow, fucked up yeah, uh, I don't. I don't think so because I don't. I don't think AB is. Um, I think AB is only crazy when it comes to certain things. <laughs> like, you feel what I'm saying? I like, honestly think he's very cognizant of every move that he yeah, makes. Yeah, like he he ain't just crazy. Like, well, yeah, I think. Yeah. I, well, but I think <laughs> a part of it is his com- is he's like hyper competitive because he's such this like ultimate athlete, right? He's an yeah, unbelievable and, football and player. He, he kind of know what he is, and he and right now I feel like he feel like he ain't. He ain't getting how he should. Like it ain't how he, it should be for him right now. Shit. Yeah, yeah. So he ain't and, really feeling. Yeah, it. and I agree with that. And I, so I agree with both of you. But that's why I think the Joker could kind of could kind of chip away at him. Like I think I think the Joker could get him real real fired up. I mean, we talking about life or death situation, right? Now. <laughs> yeah, and we know the Joker's not. I mean, the Joker's. The I Joker's mean, he's a super up. villain. He he. Yeah. I don't think that. Antonio Brown, like you yeah, know, we being realistic now. Yeah, we talking about the actor that played the Joker. Dude is out of here. No, we're, we're talking, talking about, about the, like Joker. the Joker. Oh. Yeah, the, like assuming yeah. that that character. Like, yeah, if okay, we, we gonna AB assume that. Why we, we can't AB assume AB as a super uh, superhero or something? <laughs> we, we're throwing AB and Batman, right? So he's in the movie now. He's got to fight the Joker. If it was a movie, okay, if it was a movie, I still got AB. <laughs> no, I, I, hey, I haven't made my mind up yet. I just I, don't think that, like, when AB starts wailing on the Joker and the Joker's like, 
I love this. Like, he, I don't think that's going to phase him. I think he's like, okay, this guy's a little weird, but still going to finish Beat the, the job. So, him. honestly, yeah. and I do Antonio agree. Brown. I usually side with the athletes, too. Like, I think professional athletes are fucking like a, di- a different breed, man. Like, they are so good at what they do that you don't even – you like, we. I can't even comprehend probably how, you know, like athletic Antonio Brown is because I've never even – played football at any level, let alone at the highest level in the world. You know what I'm saying? So he's definitely a different – like, he, he's built different. He's built different. Yeah. I but mean, so is the Joker, though. I mean, the Joker – Look, man, the Joker, he can fight. He fights Batman. We know that. But Antonio Brown is going to catch him, and that's all yeah, he needs to do. That's true. All he needs to do is get his hands on him. And I feel and like – Eventually the, that will happen. The, the Joker is crazy enough to where he's, he'll just – Die. He doesn't care, but Antonio Brown don't want to die. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why he's gonna win. <laughs> All right. So will to. Li- I kind of agree. Now I talk myself yeah, into Antonio Brown. It, it's a will to live kind of thing. <laughs> but I just, I just don't think he'd be faced by the Joker. So we'll lock in Antonio Brown on that one. Very quick. Who would win? Well, I mean, you know, you kind of gotta. Okay. What do you got? What do you? No, got? I agree. We're gonna lock in Antonio uh-huh, Brown, but uh-huh. you gotta, you gotta rem- I don't think you can underestimate the Joker. I bet you a lot of people. Vote for the Joker in this fight. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, I mean, and we'll I, see, bro. I mean, yeah, because like what they already think about the Joker. Exactly. Dan, like, yeah. Dan yeah. gonna sit down and have this conversation that's, and then vote about the Joker. No, I, I it's yeah, a big problem. That's you true. need to think about this. You can't just go with your gut on it in that situation. So, with know? that being said, we're all taking Antonio Brown. Vote on that on Instagram on Friday. AB. Antonio Brown Let's versus go. Joker. Let's AB go. clean sweep. Who would win of the week? Kick it over to Andy. I was kind of wondering about, you know, you guys. It seems to me like you've you've done like a good. Water, my bad. Yeah. Oh, no problem. Okay. Um. You guys have done a lot of like touring. You've gone to like a lot of different cities, played different shows there and stuff like that. I feel like that's a place where everybody's kind of trying to get to, but maybe it's not all it's cracked up to be. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you guys do on the road to try and like keep your spirits up? If you, I mean, if you find yourself in like down moments. Uh, I'm sorry, I was distracted. Oh, it's all good. Um, hey, you're thirsty. I get it. Really, my my spirits really be up. Like I don't really be tripping, you know. Yeah. Like it, it's gonna happen how it happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't really nothing to be st- I'm stressed about or. None of that, like. But look, at the end of the day, no matter where you are, if you're going there for a show, that night you're getting up on stage, right? Yeah. So let's just do this show and, and, and let it be that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that's how I feel. It's a good way to look at it, you know. But no matter how many people there, what let's just do it. Yeah, man, that's a big thing too for a lot of people starting out doing anything like. Or like doing shows and shit. Yeah. I mean, it's really like, bro, what you in this or you in it? Yeah, I mean, it ain't no option for me. I ain't gonna lie, cause I look at it though. My mom and daddy ain't getting older. You know what I'm saying, and people my don't realize you need that. You need them shows where there ain't a lot of people there. We, we you know, how many shows we did when nobody there got us prepared. Like we now, I, I know he feel. I know he feel confident, but I feel confident that we could do a show with a lot of thousands of people there and be good. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying, people don't be understanding that though. They be trying to be ahead of their time and stuff like that, but. That's fucking crazy. Wait, say that again. Like, people, you know, people be talking about. I ain't doing no show in front of five people. I ain't doing uh, no show. No, um, what's the little shit we used to do? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, no yeah, showcase. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, man. To, to, it, it wasn't just about. You know, it wasn't just about that. It was about getting our performance together, getting other things ready and shit like that. I think that's why a lot of people drop off, right? Yeah, because it's, it's more than what you see at first. You like, need totally your stage appearance to be tight. Where you gonna flop? Hell yeah, man! Yeah. Can you imagine going out for your first show, and like you, do, you, you have no idea what it's like to perform in front of any kind of That's audience? What I'm it's, you do like a stadium? Are you fucking lie. crazy? Yeah. I had a, I had like, pr- we had probably had like two, three shows, where it's like mid performance. We like, what the, f- I cuss. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> but you know, I still did what I had to do, type shit, and still kept that same energy, but. In my head, I always look at shit like whether it's one, two, three, or a million people in the room, I'm always treat a show like a show. 
and especially with our management and our team and stuff like that, you know what I mean, with them behind us and motivating us and stuff like that, you know what I mean, it's easy to get the job done, you know. It's good when you have a good team, man. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah, they're here right now. We've never had anybody bring, like, a full team with them, but you guys, yeah, they're that's how out you, there. you guys get it done. Yeah. yeah, you need a team. You do. Can't you do, do this on your own. It's almost impossible. How long did it take to build, like, a good foundation? Almost rapidly, like oh, instantly, dinner. Really? Yeah, because it's like we all like really family, and we all got one goal: to see each other happy and to reach the top. It's like us against the world, so it's easy. I don't know. No, that's a good. I think a lot of people um, have an, have a hard time with that because sometimes they'll get involved with guys who maybe they don't realize at first are not as dedicated and stuff as them. And then, look, it, if you're surrounding yourself with bad people, they're going to drag you down. Honestly, though, when we do get lazy sometimes, we also deal with this. Like, we, it's not uh, sunshine and rainbow and ice cream and unicorns and shit. It's hard work. We do get in our little slump sometimes where it's like we don't want to do shit. You know what I'm saying? And our manager gets on our ass. You need people like that around you to be like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Get the fuck up. What y'all doing? Y'all y'all want this for real? This and that. Like we're hearing, every now and then we need to hear shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you're doing this shit by yourself, you're going to give in easy. You know what I'm saying? That's that's really it. Yeah. Like you need people be like that behind you. Yeah. But you need people that are going to be honest with you. And, and, it, right. yeah, and to have somebody there to do it, I mean, well, we say it all the time. It's a Kevin Hart line. He says it before he goes on a show. Everybody want to be famous. Nobody want to put the work in. We say it all the time, but it's true. Yeah. And you need people that are going to tell you, you know, when you got to, you know, pick your shit up and get your shit together. Because if not, if there's nobody there watching you, you know, it's easy to take shortcuts when there's no eyes on you, right? Yeah, you always go halfway. Yeah, exactly. So, it, it, I mean, it's a big help. Um Everybody's going to drive each other. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's a team. Yeah. It's a team. So I didn't ask this originally, but now that we're almost about to wrap up, are you guys from, uh, both from Buffalo? You are? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually not even from the U.S., but oh, okay. first place I did touch foot on in American soil was Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Then I ended up moving to Buffalo. Okay. But sometimes, like, back and forth and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, got you, got you, got you. So you a Bills fan? Uh, hell no. <laughs> Really? Hell no. I was about to ask y'all that too. Who y'all got for Super? Before I tell y'all who I got, I want to know who y'all Wait, got. For I got Super. a I mean, question for everybody though. Y'all really think the Bills going to the Super Bowl? No, I'm don't. not doubting it. I don't know. All right, what all right. I really haven't really right. been watching. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. If this just happened, I'm a fan of the greatest of all time, and I'm pretty Tom sure Brady. you know who that is. Come on, but were you a Patriots fan? Or you yes, were a Tom Brady I'm, fan. I'm really a Patriots. I'm not a Buccaneers fan. For, I'm really a Patriots fan. Oh, but that's Tom Brady on the Buccaneers, so it's like you feel me. I got it. So I come but Saturday night. You're you know rude. what I'm on Saturday night. Oh come on! You know that what I'm you're on the man. Saturday. You're the man. I yeah, love that you honestly, just said that. Yeah. I might not agree with it, but I, I love it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think anybody would ever co come in here and say that right in my look, face. Look, man. Sometimes, <laughs> look, we talk about the bills and stuff so much. Like sometimes it feels a little bit like we're just sucking our own dicks at some point. Well, you know we what kind I mean? of are. Like, I, that's what I'm saying. Like nah, it's, a little, it's a little bit masturbatory. Like we like. Like, like, I, like, let's get real. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Not for real. All right. You know, all right, all right. I like it. <clears throat> Go ahead, Matthew. So, <laughs> Clears his throat. Getting ready. <clears throat> all right. But then who you got winning the Super Bowl then? <laughs> nah, you do not have the Patriots winning the no, Super no, Bowl. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, you no, got no, the Bucs? Yeah, yeah, Okay, that's that's a fair that's yeah, a fair yeah, thing yeah, to say. Yeah. I mean, when the Bucs are playing the Bills in the Super Bowl, you come back and I'm going to have this conversation again. No, nah, the Bucs are not playing the Bills in the Super Bowl. Who's winning the AFC? Kansas City. Chiefs, dude. Yeah, dude. Can't nobody stop Patty. I know. Uh, that. Buddy, I'm telling you, though. I honestly think that Patrick Mahomes, because he came out so hot, he's going to hit his ceiling sooner. Josh Allen has had to work. You're he's, talking about career, not season. Career. Yeah, yeah. But okay. look at how much better he's gotten, though. And I think that he, with the Patrick Mahomes comparison, he's got a little bit of that chip on his shoulder. And I think it's going to propel him. I mean, I think Patrick, Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL. I... I you feel like that? Yeah. Uh, he, he, I mean, Tom Brady oh. the goat, but I'm saying like the best quarterback probably. right now. Sure. I would, I would he's probably, still in the league, though. I would probably agree with that. Yeah, but it's yeah. different. But like, is LeBron prime. the best in the NBA? Like LeBron right not now? the best in the NBA right now to me, but he's one of the goats. But he ain't the, the right I'm talking about right now. Yo, with Tom, you can't really say that though. Like he really yeah. still. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's wow. just won last year. He might go again yeah. this Tom year. Tom the you know best, but I'm yeah. just saying like talent wise. Yeah, I can't. I don't think you can say until it's really over with. 
Honestly. I mean, I'm going to go yeah. with Tom all day. It's but tough. I'm just and I, and I, the, the other thing, too, is, though, like, nobody will ever win as many rings as so, yeah. Brady. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, this, just, why, why would number you say eight? ever, though? to number eight. Why would you say ever, though? Ever. I mean, you, ever. You, you, don't ever. Think, you don't think? I don't think so. Yeah, like, with, with how, like, nowadays. If you talk, if you say something in absolutes around Jack, he's going to tell you well, you're fucking but, wrong. But man. here's the thing. I mean, you have to. You have to find a quarterback that's gonna have the longevity that Brady had. He's got to play it's in. Impossible. He's got to play in the league it's for like that long. The human breed is always breeding something. No, different they're always and evolving. Crazy, and, agree, and it's just like unbelievable. You see people like Zion Williamson, like yeah. just pop out the blue, like young as hell, went but back down. And that's just, that's great talent, but and it, 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 but it, you got more than talent. Look at like as size, you say, it's a team sport too. Like you have, you're gonna have to find. You gotta look up like, on certain things. I was gonna say you're gonna have to be placed in the right position at the right time. All types. So it's gonna be tough to to ever to ever do what he did and have that dynasty that new england had what, still what's going. your team what what's your team honestly i'm really a ravens fan okay i mean i i got i but i'm really a bandwagon at least i'm true to myself though like <laughs> yeah yeah you're gonna admit I'm, it yeah i might yeah. like somebody else yeah next year. now but i can't believe you're a patriots fan i didn't see that coming from like your whole li- your whole life, you're a Patriots whole fan. Life, I'm a Patriots fan. Like right now, I'm honestly more of a Bucks fan. Yeah, because you're a Brady fan. Right. But, but you were gonna root because sure. you you still got that Belichick yeah, in you. For so sure. you're oh, the Patriot way. <laughs> I'll be there on Saturday, and I'll be thinking. I you do when the like start the, the thing I do like about Bill Belichick a lot, though, is like he is all about football. Like if you come into his locker room, like with any kind of bullshit did you you're see, cut you're did, gone did see you, you later. see that uh, <laughs> did you see yeah. that press conference after after they lost uh when that lady came in and asked her oh, if yeah, he had any new, new year's, new, re- yeah, new new year's, year's resolutions <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, we ain't trying to talk about that right now yeah no nah, yeah, i mean hey that's, See, that's why I'm a Patriot fan. But what if, what if, like, what if, like, she was just trying to cheer people up? Though, like, she was, but, but that's like, why. why? Yeah, but, <laughs> but we but, on business but, right now. We just took a loss. All I agree. Shit. See, I think that I think there's too much of that shit. What she was trying to do. There's yeah. too much of that. We don't need it. Yeah. And when he it's came, it's almost like trolling at this point for real. Though. When he came back, they asked him again. It's true. He yeah. said, "I don't want to share. It's personal." Yeah. Yeah. He he's definitely he's a different breed. You talk about competitive. I mean. You know what I'm saying? See, like, if they would have asked the Bills coach that, he would have got to talk about all these nah, New Year's you've been, resolutions. You've been, I'm going to trust the process. Yeah. Yo, all listen. Right, yeah. His New Year's resolution was probably Ooh. to make it out of the wild card round. And guess yeah, what? That's going to happen. So. Nah, that ain't going to happen. I mean, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. They're talking about this might be the coach. He wanted you to agree so bad. <laughs> I know. I, I, you going? I, I'll be there. Yeah, I'm sitting. In a, I mean, I, I just bought shit. I just bought tickets the other day. I'm sitting. I'm sitting up top. I, I don't. No way, yeah, man. I'm be. Very very cold. It's gonna, it's gonna feel like negative hell, five degrees bro. that I day, mean, man. You no know, way. It's, it's gonna be. I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna cold. get this warm feeling right as right as you know that's that game hurt. starts and <laughs> that's gonna hurt walking over the wall. Oh it's no, that's what, that's what's keeping me warm because I know it's gonna be a dub. Come on. It, I will say. I will say. I was at the Monday night game when they played the Patriots. It's gonna be and we, and we, way cold. We ran the ball all game. Yeah, went to that game. I was there. So you saw Mac Jones and throw the ball three times. Yeah. No, I was there the whole time. And I drove to all my boys. I was DD. Stone Cold Silver sat through the whole game. It was freezing cold. Very windy. Brutal. Mm-hmm. And you about to go back. Yeah, I'm about to go back to see the W. Because, you know, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to be there. Nah, for real, for real, if Derrick Henry come back on his BS, it, I mean, don't know. if Derrick Henry comes back, then, then Tennessee's. All right, can I give you guys a question now? Yes. If you had one superpower in the world, what would it be? Oh, oh dude. Let me think about that for a second. Can I tell you what the Only weirdest. one. Answer I ever heard that question though was oh, yeah. somebody asked this dude who was in this band like what would your superpower be, and he was like, I would wish that whenever I wanted an invisible step ladder would appear, so you could disappear. No, a step ladder, cool. so that he could like a two step ladder, so that he could just take two steps up and like hang out there. Like it didn't, it wouldn't do anything. He's just like. Yeah, I'd just be hanging out like ten feet. <laughs> still. Like, yeah, he's really people are like, here. Like okay, that. okay, man. I'll, my my mine would be for me to be able to disappear whenever I want. That's a good yeah, power. Like go man. invisible yeah. or okay. No, yeah. like, that was yours. You lock yours. Like teleport. We gonna see who gonna have the best the best <laughs> superpower right. though. Mm-hmm. Are right, you lock yours and disappear whenever? What you got? Mine would probably be like infinite energy. Like I never okay. get tired. Boom. Oh, you. It's a sick power. Wait, can I change mine? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I want to be able to read minds. Okay. okay. Boom. All right. Dude, I'd be too afraid to read people's minds. Yeah. I couldn't handle that kind <laughs> of pressure, man. Honestly, uh, I've always liked, like, 
Mr. Fantastic like stretching. Like I always thought that would be cool. Okay. But like, you can but reach out of anything. All these powers you're gonna want to stretch. Look, I'm not saying. Well look, be? I'm not saying it's the best answer. <laughs> I'm just saying for me, it <laughs> might be the best move. Gotta rock with it. Might as well be. Uh, I would say. Whatever I want to happen instantly happens, and every like time Dr. that's Strange almost style like, almost. like if I wanted to stretch, it's gonna happen. Like any, uh, that means like I have but every I like power. You, that that you would give Boro life though. That's like it's, saying to a genie, like, like wishing for a hundred wishes. Yeah. No, that's not wishing for a hundred wishes. Yeah, you it's can't like wish no, it's everything. like it's like whatever you I want genie. happens. You become the genie. That's not that's, wishing. Those are different. Dude, like, that's it's, like fifty it's, different powers. No, I'm saying it's like a. I'm saying it's like a loophole. Yeah, did you, you get but, mad but, different powers than one. Are you? It's not mad different powers. It's one power. Like. Yeah, but you could wish like that you uh, you could be like, like I wish I any, had any 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 like you really like like for example if I wanted to be a, a race car right now turn into a race car like anything like if I want to disappear right now I disappear like whatever I saying. think happens you're getting more than one That's, power yeah like, you'd have more than one power but it's the power no it's the no power. I agree it's the power to have more than power. one power yeah he would have the power to have more than one power. god damn it dude I but knew you, you were gonna say something like that the power to have more than one but power. how are you getting more than one power you just told me one power. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because it's a power. power. <laughs> but 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 you think you get more power from that power. We got a title. If we yeah, did, we got a title this episode. That's the power. That's the power. Oh that's the power, God, man. Dude. That's a good power. I knew I you were going to say something. I like thought that, my man. I thought, I thought my power was really good. I was really confident my power. That is good. Be a good power. Yo, all right. So we do agree that is one power. Yeah, right? we'll give it to you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, asterisk, asterisk. Uh, now y'all, now y'all gotta yeah. be like, yo, Jack. Can you make my arm stretch? Uh, yeah. Yo, I got oh, you. you can give us powers too. Nah, I wouldn't uh, do that. That would make me not be. I mean, yeah. No, I agree. I can't have I somebody agree. equivalent power. No. I mean, what if you get mad at me one day? Then yeah. what? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, he might back that. though. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. I feel like that's a good spot to wrap up. Yeah. But shout out everything you guys got to promote. I'm just gonna say real quick. The Hoods Poet EP is out right now. Oh, yeah, Just listen to it, man. Can you everywhere. buy it? Can you? Is it like on iTunes? Yeah, it's everywhere. Man, you can afford it. Just yeah. pay for it, man. Okay? Because it's, it's a dollar a day. Come on, man. Please. Because it's help help everybody else out. Yeah. To listen to the Hoods Poet, to listen to the best in this universe, not just the best in the world, the most handsomest individual on planet Earth, Hoodstar. Motherfucking Jack. God bless you. I see it through. I was waiting for you to call that yourself that handsome ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but let's uh, so uh where can people find money set? Where can people find both of you guys? Everywhere, all social sites, money set the label on Instagram, young fet underscore set on Instagram, young fetty on YouTube, all that shit, a little gato man. All that good shit. There and go. y- yeah, so you know, any you know, are you guys working on stuff right now? Anything in the yeah, works? Yeah, I'm out of going like a streak, dropping like okay, a couple singles a month, probably for like till like end of February. Probably. Okay, so there's new stuff coming out. Check that stuff out. I those mean, will March. Be, those will be tagged in our episode oh, description, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yep, they'll be in. That so if you're looking for those, on Instagram. yeah, find those. Um, thank you guys Ooh. for coming on, for and sure. thank Thanks you guys for, for everything that happened. I mean, it was a blast. Listen. Superpower, questionable. Uh-huh. I mean, being a Patriots fan, Bills I, uh, questionable. No, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> if I if I would have known if I if I would have known if if I would have known oh, that you were a Patriots man. fan, I would have tried to push this episode one more week so we can mm. talk about it after the fact. Oh, that would have been cool. You know what I'm saying? But um, hey, best of luck to you. Ooh, Seriously man. though, thank you guys for coming on. For sure. Thank yeah, you guys for telling it. us about you know what you guys got going on. I had a blast. I know Andy did. Check their shit out. Um, find it. We'll tag it. They said it. Swoop a doop. Wrap it up, kid. Let's no, go. I know. Okay. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Yeah. Andy, I love you. I love you too. Thanks for listening, folks.